The next aspect of just war theory I want to talk about is discrimination. Just war theory says that there should be discrimination between civilians and combatants. We shouldn't just try to kill anybody. We should try to keep the killing only to armed combatants. The first big problem is who is really a combatant in war? And this is especially true in modern warfare. Of course, the soldier who carries a gun is a combatant, but what about the secretary who's back on the base who issues the orders? And what about the person who makes the gun, the factory that makes the gun? What about the factory that makes the plastic which goes to pieces that make the gun? Who can you bomb? Who can you kill? Can you only bomb the factory? What about the factory worker's home where he lives since he is essentially building tools of warfare? Really, there's not much of a distinction between who a combatant is and who one isn't. A further issue in this aspect, and this is more true in democratic societies, but if a government represents me and I'm a regular civilian, then in what way doesn't another country have a right to take vengeance out on me? War is about bringing about justice in the minds of the combatants. And so if I go to kill somebody from another country, what's the difference between killing a civilian or somebody who has a gun when the issue at hand is the country and the country's injustice against me? If killing civilians helps me to win the war, then why is that not justified? And if you think that line of argumentation is ridiculous, then you should have pretty big issues with most Western countries today. Think about the blockades against Germany and other countries that starved thousands upon thousands, maybe even millions of, of individuals. And think about the sanctions and blockades that we implement today, which cause people like people in North Korea to starve to death. Sure, we may say that we intend that violence to be directed against leaders and countries, but who compose countries? Regular civilians. We take violence out on civilians. Which raises the question, does war really protect more civilian lives? Especially in the last hundred years, war kills far more civilians than it does combatants. If according to LeMay, we killed 20% of the North Korean population in some four years, do we think that the, the rulers of North Korea would have killed 20% of their population in that time period? I don't know. Add to this famines, diseases, unexploded ordinances, and the civilian casualty rate is, is high. Finally, what about more creative solutions? Like in World War II, what would have happened if the United States would have actually taken in Jewish refugees and Hitler had nobody to kill? But war is always more love than refugees.